I am probably, because I'm so diligent about taking care of my van, I'm probably one of the luckiest people in the world because I listen to my intuition like it's a repeating microphone in my ear until it shuts up. Like I just don't, I have to listen, man. And here's why, let me show you. So I am at Discount Tire and when I pulled in, I already knew that this tire was bald, but now it's from just getting here, it's showing wire. And I don't know what's happening with it right now, um, this tire is completely bald. I got all four of these tires about a year and a half ago. My driver's side back is completely bald. You come to this side and this tire is honestly like I could use it as a spare. It's perfectly good. So if, if you guys have any clue as to what is happening with this tire and why it's like becoming super bald super fast compared to the other three tires i mean i'm down to i'm down to listen honestly um another thing that i am kind of weary about and i'm looking for a car wash or something all of this right here is all oil all those splatters you can really see it on the back as i drive the oil is just coming up everywhere i've been parked for I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe not even 20 minutes. Look at all that oil buildup. I don't know because Jigsaw is also not losing oil. I just put oil in him. He's fine. He's like, he's losing like a half a quart of oil every four to five weeks is when I have to put oil in him. Other than that, I don't know where all of this is coming from. Like, I'm just over here in confusion. Like, uh, okay. We're gonna get new tires. <laughs> okay, Discount Tire doesn't offer alignments. So I went next door and they said they don't close till six, but an alignment is $87 and they do free alignment checks. So he said he's going to check my van, see if the alignment is off. Maybe that might be why that tire is so freaking bald. Which I looked back in footage. This is why I film my life. Because then I know what happens. Because sometimes I feel like my brain and my memory is tricking me. But because I record everything, I have like a file book. So I went back... <laughs> two and a half years ago when I purchased these tires and when the tire was about ready to blow out and literally looked exactly like that but it was like ballooning um that was on the other side that was my passenger tire that was off and so it definitely could be an alignment is issue like somewhere along the way something got you know whatever I don't know honestly um, it is getting dark, so once again, I'm going to end up driving at night, or I could potentially stay in this parking lot and just try to, you know, act like nobody notices me. I could do that. I don't, I don't see why not, actually. Um, I've done that before, and nobody seems to care, so... That's where I do seriously need to ditch this kayak. I'm so over having this kayak. I can't have it anymore. I want to ditch it somewhere. And I don't even care if I ditch it, like, at a park, at a boat dock, in the trash can. It's going to find a new home, but not on the side of my van. I'm over having it. I love being on the water, but I think I need to invest in an inflatable kayak. I don't want something that just chills on the side of my van and is like sticking out like a sore thumb. It makes life hard. I feel like I'm gonna be here like until they close because this, this kid keeps walking around and he keeps looking at my van 
And then he keeps shaking his head like, nah, that can't be it. Bro, I think you are looking for my van. Oh, nope, now he's walking up to a Ford Transit. Bro, I don't, I don't think he realizes that this is the van he's looking for. He has walked up to that Ford Transit several times. That kid just did laps around this parking lot. Are you gonna come back? Dang, dude. I don't know, man. Dang. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep on doing dishes and hopefully this kid figures out that the van he's looking for is my van. I can see my key in the little clear pouch. Yeah. Those are my keys. That's the van you're looking for. But you keep walking up to a Ford Transit. What? <laughs> they just called me. And, and the guy, the guy's like, uh, so we're ready for your van. And by chance, are you in it? And I'm like, man, I literally made eye contact with you guy. Like, I literally made eye contact with you. And he's like, yeah, is it the, is it like the gold kind of older looking one? And I said, yeah. You know, see how bald that tire is? That's so bad. That's why I need a realignment. This is the next step. We need to do alignment. Now, there is no bar on the top. So as they lift my van, I should be solid because it's like a one straight bar that they're gonna lift me up on. But I'm still nervous, but I gotta like let them know I'm here and get this process started and see how this all works. I don't really know. I've actually never really done an alignment on my van, I don't think, unless it was done when I left it at a shop and they did it. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever done this before. The people at this shop, Breaks, Breaks Plus or whatever this place is called, um, they really did their due diligence of trying to help me find a place that is equipped well enough to align my van. He did have some diesel skills and I realized and found out that my alignment in the back is a half an inch off. Like, and so that's the, that's the issue. That's what's eaten my tire. So tomorrow we're going to literally sit and call every place we possibly can he gave me a list of numbers and we're gonna find somewhere, even if we have to stay in this town for a good amount of time, I know this is the town that's gonna get it done. I just have to wait it out. There was place, there was one place that I could have gone, but it was a week and a half out to make an appointment. Like that's when they had the availability. So now we're just gonna go to Cabela's. Um, we're gonna figure this out. but we got new tires. And we made it to Cabela's. Now we have to find where the RV sites are and water spigot. Oh, should we see if they would let me take Jane to get a photo with Santa. That would be kind of cute, honestly. We have little horsey neighbors. Hi, beautiful. Oh, there's two. Hello. Okay, we gotta get water. This. Honestly. <clears throat> Woo! Okay. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't want that to do that again, so I'm holding it, but yeah, I feel accomplished today. This, this is so ridiculous. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, okay. Uh-oh. 
Got it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, <laughs> we got water. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh. Well, come on. Woo! Oh. Look at his new kicks. Yeah! He's nice and washed up. Nice and good, right? Come on. Yeah, you just crawl through the water, Jane. It's fine. This is what we're going to call... Is that a Hooters? Oh, oh, we might be getting some hot wings. Oh my gosh, that is a Hooters. No way. Okay, awesome. But we're going to stay right here at Cabela's. In the morning, we're going to wake up and basically make a ton of phone calls and figure out where I can get my van aligned. Like, where can I get alignment adjustment? Who has a big enough area? Because some of them, they said yes. They were like, oh yeah, but then they asked how long my van was. And I was like, oh, 21 feet. Uh, yep, and then they said no. So like, I don't hit the max of, I'm not over 10 feet tall, so that is an A plus, but I am over 19 feet long. And a lot of their equipment will not go back and stretch as far. I'm a 178 wheelbase, whereas most people are a 158 or a 148. Um, that makes a big difference, but yeah. Right here at Cabela's, we're calling it home. Jane's just happy she found grass. She's like, whatever, mom. Life is good.